horizontal trace matrix using work item types. In this video, we'll be diving into the world of query and multi-query trace matrices in modern requirements. From the main menu, select Trace Analysis and create a new traceability. Give your trace matrix a name. In this case, I'll say HM for horizontal matrix. The type of trace analysis is a query. Intersection matrix is the default matrix. So we want to switch it to horizontal matrix and then select the query type of matrix. Here is where we can configure the work items by using a query to generate our trace analysis. Selecting iteration one work items for this example and similar to the previous video, we can define filters for the different work items. For my top level work item, I've selected Epic. We'll see its decomposition into features, user stories, test cases, as well as bugs. Just like the work item type trace matrix, you can define link types that will be displayed in the trace analysis. You can also define your column options based off of fields that exist in the selected work item. Let's go ahead and run the trace matrix. Here we can see there is one epic in our iteration, one work item, and one feature that is linked to that epic with a child link type. We can see that that feature is linked to a user story with a child link type, and we can see that this epic is related to this user story. If we wanted to see the epic and its related user story directly next to each other, we can make use of the Merge View option. The original headings of the columns have been removed. You can now see the work items that are linked with each other directly next to each other in the trace matrix. You can export to Excel in WYSIWYG fashion and generate a smart report which you can then export to Microsoft Word, PDF, or HTML. That is how you can create a query horizontal matrix. Now, let's move on to the multi-query horizontal trace matrix. The best practice is to return to the main page and create a new traceability from there. This will prevent any of your data being overwritten. As we've seen before, it's helpful to name a trace analysis according to its purpose. This is a horizontal matrix, so we'll say HM and of the multi-query type. Select the horizontal matrix of the multi-query type. In this area, we will configure multiple queries in order to generate our trace analysis. For the top level query, let's select iteration one work items. For the second query, there is a shared query here with test cases. So we will run these two queries against each other. You can of course configure your link types as well as column options. You can add additional queries as well. Now, run the queries. And this is how the iteration one work items are associated with the test cases. You can run multiple queries against each other to have an understanding of their linkages. In today's video, you saw how to create a query and multi-query horizontal trace matrix. In the next video, we'll discuss how to create a work item type intersection trace matrix. Thank you for watching.